What's up beauties? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This video we're going to be recoloring our hair, doing a root touch up for the third time. Again, this will be the third time that we are doing our touch up. So this time we're going to be using a different color though because remember I said the last time I didn't really like the way the color was looking. It was looking a little, a little gray. But my aunt came to visit me and she brought the T18. So this time we're gonna be using that one and it is a permanent toner. And let's just see how that goes. I'm gonna be using the same um, bleach that I used the last time, but instead of using the pack, I have the bucket this time. And I'm gonna be using 30 volume developer this time for that and 20 volume developer for the toner and we're going to be using the same shampoos the Nairobi shampoos and I'll show you that I did go ahead and get my hair cut by the same barber he did a great job the sides um, I did like a one and a half inch and the two inch on the top so I'm really happy about like the length and how that looks so um, I have my mask this time because again remember me telling you guys that I cannot stand the smell of the bleach it is just too much it is too much so we have a mask this time and um, yeah let's go ahead and get started okay you guys so right here I just went ahead and used my coconut oil like I always do I put it around the perimeters of my hairline I always start in the front and make sure that I go around my ears and around the back of my neck the nape of my neck I think that's what they call it but anyways yeah you know then I went ahead and put on my coloring tape. Now this is optional. Um, you can use a towel, but I'm a little messy. And again, this is only my third time, so we're just gonna protect ourselves here, okay? And we're gonna use an ear cap. I got these ear caps from Daiso, which is like a Japanese dollar store. They are a lifesaver. Um, I really, I try to avoid my ears with the coconut oil, but with this and adding the mask, I mean we are protected okay I mean it's like <laughs> hello I mean we're giving we are doing the thing okay we are a chemist and so let's go ahead and get into the bleach now my camera didn't pick up when I bleached my hair but I did have a video prior to this bleaching my hair when I bleached it the second time and you can watch that video linked here um, if you want to know exactly how I apply the bleach but I typically start in the front and um, I'm sorry I typically start in the back and I let it sit on my head for about 30 minutes and then I take the cap off as you can see and I kind of comb through my hair and just to make sure that I'm getting like all of my hair um, is being processed with the bleach but yeah I just start in the back and then work my way around to the front that's how I pretty much apply the bleach and here's the back this is how it's starting to look it's starting to foam up a little bit so that means that it's processing so we're gonna go ahead and rinse out the bleach and I'm just making sure that I am not irritating my scalp so I'm just really removing the bleach by just washing it with just just my open palm just really like just rinsing off the bleach just with an open palm not like scraping and scrubbing my scalp okay this came out really really good let's look at the back yeah okay so I'm good with this I think that the bleach did its thing let's go ahead and do the toner i gotta shampoo my hair you guys i forgot okay so i just washed my hair with the purple shampoo i didn't let it stay on there that long um, because i was afraid that it might turn purple so i just you know Wash it as normal. 
It didn't make that much of a difference, honestly. No, it's still very, very yellow. So anyways, let's do the toner. Okay, I've only had this in my hair for maybe 10 minutes and it's already purple. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go ahead and wash it out or just allow it to stay in my hair for another 10 minutes. Whew. Maybe I should wash it out because it's purple, right? Okay, you guys, I think it's time. Let's wash it out. I think it's time to go. It's platinum. It's light. It's light. This is the lightest that I have been. I'm not mad at it though. I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna wash my hair with, uh, I'm trying to debate if I wanna wash it with shimmer light because it's kind of purple. Yeah, let's wash it with some more shimmer light. Okay. Whew. We're white. We're icy white. And I like it. I do. I feel like every time I dye my hair, I go lighter and lighter and lighter. And it's always a plot twist every single time I come up from the bowl. Like, what are we going to come up with now? So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use the Nairobi. Um, conditioner and I'm just going to let that whoop, I'm gonna let that sit on my hair for like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out the directions say leave put a shower cap on there for 15 minutes so I'll do that. Okay, <clears throat> so I just washed out the conditioner um, and it made my hair feel so super soft. Now I'm just going to towel dry my hair and put in a little bit of the Nairobi um, hair lotion and just leave it in overnight. And then once I put my makeup on, because my husband is coming home tomorrow, I'll show you a completed look with a beat, okay? All right, so stay tuned.